Today's the day guys after 27 long years of having stock photos in this gallery wall I finally printed out some pictures I need to vacuum from Walgreens so I'm gonna get them put in here I'm not gonna lie I kind of wish I could just like tape the pictures but I know that would look absolutely horrendous so I'm gonna take them all down smiles are covering our faces you know it is all lies you know it is all lies hey guys i first of all just want to welcome everybody back or welcome any of y'all who might be new or just visiting my channel i'm so happy that you are here and I know I'm posting this video on a day that I typically don't post on, but I have kind of been recovering from having a little bit of an infection that has just put me out and honestly made me so tired and feel not the best. So I have been trying to give myself a little bit of grace as I get back on my feet. I wanted to push so hard to put out a video on Sunday, but it just wasn't going to happen. So sometimes you just have to slow things down and give your body a little bit of rest but it feels so good to be finally feeling better. I am so happy that I finally got pictures into these frames. So I bought these frames from Target and I love them so much, but I hung them up probably in March or April maybe. And I'm just now putting pictures in them. But a lot of y'all were asking me over on Instagram. I tried to respond to everybody, but the pictures I got were eight by eight. So I just ordered square pictures from Walgreens and just put them in the back. And I always just use like this painter's tape because if I ever want to take them out, it doesn't damage the pictures. And if you don't use any tape at all, the pictures will slide around. So this worked perfectly. And I just love the way that pictures add that perfect pop of color in your house without being like overly tacky. You know what I'm saying? Since it's mostly my kids who hang out upstairs and their friends and this gallery wall is upstairs, I decided to make it just mostly pictures of them with their friends. I thought that would be an extra special touch and I tried to include most of their closest friends but I know I'll be able to trade out the pictures every now and then too. I am just so thankful for the sweet little friends that they have in their lives. I know that I'm still friends with some of the friends that I had when I was my kids' ages. So it's so exciting to think that the friends they have now could be their friends for a lifetime because they just have such a sweet and special little bond and it's so fun to watch them all grow up together. Keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what is right We keep moving In different rhythms Still I know what you feel
fully realize that I left a little speck on that second step and I'm sorry if it gets on y'all's nerves because honestly it bothers me too. I did go back and get it but not on camera. So my kids track all these leaves in. It's fall in the south and the leaves are falling like crazy and they're just so crispy everywhere so they bring in these leaves on their feet, they bring them in on their socks and they go everywhere. And especially when they have their friends coming over too, they're tracking stuff through the house. So I am constantly vacuuming the stairs. I'm trying out a new vacuum cleaner. I still am not quite sure how I feel about it. So until I have used it a little bit more, I can't say for sure that I want to like share it with y'all and say it's the best or anything, but I just got it a few days ago. So I'm going to try it out a little while longer and then I will definitely let y'all know what I think about it. So keeping in mind that I was trying to give myself tons and tons of grace over this past week, this video is filmed over the course of three days because I was just really trying not to push myself too hard. This was on Sunday and really all I wanted to do was go ahead and get the laundry out of the dryer because I didn't want it to get all wrinkled. So all I did was lay the stuff flat that needed to be hung up and then I folded the other stuff because we were about to be heading to our church small group, which is what we have right now every other Sunday afternoon we get together with several couples in our church. It's called a small group and we just kind of meet and either do some type of Bible study or a video together and then we eat together, which is always really nice and the kids have some babysitters who watch them. so. We look forward to that time and it's really, really nice, but we were running late on this day. So I was just frantically trying to finish what I could just so I didn't have to come back and fluff it and do it all over again. And you decide if you want to see me again. If you want to see me again. Yeah. If you want to see me again. Yeah. This is the next night. I'm pretty much just going to take y'all through what I try to get done every night before I go to bed just so we wake up to a clean kitchen and living room. We had had groceries delivered earlier that day and I definitely had not put everything away yet. And then that stack of clothes there on the pew is what I picked out for my kids for school the next day because they were dressing up in red, white, and blue to celebrate Veterans Day which actually they celebrated it on November 10th because the next day, November 11th was picture day for the yearbook. So I try to always lay out my kids clothes the night before. It's just so helpful the next morning. But honestly, what's the most helpful is that Mark works from home now and he does not struggle to get out of bed. He says he does, but he does not. He can just wake right up and get out of bed. It takes me about six and a half hours to wake up. Honestly, I get my day started at like 3 p.m. every day. And so waking up in the morning is not fun for me. I do not love it at all. I don't want to have to think. Honestly, I don't even really like speaking <laughs> as weird as that is. Like I want to listen to my kids and engage with them before school, but I'm kind of just like an empty shell of a person, you know? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm thankful for Mark and that he's home because he helps so much. And by help so much, he pretty much does everything. He's amazing. And then these containers right here, I know I've talked about them a bunch. They're from Walmart. I wish I could link them. If I can, somehow I will for y'all, but they are so, so great. They keep my food so fresh. But the thing is, if you thoroughly wash them and you wash the lids and you take off the pieces, it takes forever for the lids to dry. So you're gonna see that I fill these up and then just leave them there for probably about 30 minutes, 
waiting for the lids to finish drying and for me to dry the lids because I cannot stand the thought of anything wet being sealed up. It just freaks me out. Like I don't stack my cups ever or anything like that because I like everything to be able to air dry and get fully dry before it's put away. Okay, this is so random, but I do not think I've ever talked to y'all about this. I just put away the little hair cutting kit that I have, which I had just given the boys haircuts and I always vacuum up or sweep things up after their haircuts. But without fail, at least one of my kids gets a hair splinter. And if I've talked about this before, y'all just comment like you've already talked about this, but I don't think I have. Have you guys ever had a hair splinter before? or do your children get them easily? It is so bizarre. When I've talked to people about it in my neighborhood or my church, they look at me like I have 15 heads, but it is so crazy. So Ava's the one that gets them the most and it'll basically make it where she cannot walk. And so she sits down and then I always shine like a flashlight on the bottom of her foot and you can just see this little piece of hair and I typically like pull it out with tweezers. I don't know why, it's just kind of fun, honestly, because it's such an easy fix and it doesn't do any permanent damage. I love it when they have them because I think it's really fun to pull them out just like splinters and stuff, but my kids get them all the time. So do your kids get them or do you get them? I think it's so funny that a lot of people have no idea what I'm talking about, but I actually get them sometimes in my fingers after I do several haircuts. It's crazy. are the little rubber pieces that fit back on and they pretty much seal in the lid which has openings that could trap water so that's why I give it tons of time for them to dry out if you guys watch my insta stories actually from today Bo did not put the lid fully on that container and dropped the vanilla wafers everywhere so we only had about maybe 10 or so that survived his face was just priceless. Poor thing, I wasn't too frustrated or anything. He was trying to clean up after himself, so at least he was doing that. Can we be friends again? I give up. I know how this ends. Might sound strange. While that spray was sitting and working to disinfect the countertops, I just decided to go ahead and wipe down the table. And I was thinking that I wasn't going to be decorating for Christmas anytime soon, but what kind of makes me want to, at least on the table, is Max decided to shake a blue marker, which I don't think I realized after all these years of motherhood that it did that, but he shook it for some reason and it kind of just shot almost like blue paint everywhere. So you can't really see it, but there's tons of blue dots on the runner of the table and even on the pumpkins, it was all over the table. Some of it got on the wall and the windowsill. He was just in shock that it even did that. But I was like, why are you shaking a marker? So considering that my table is fully speckled in blue, 
I might just kind of barely start with some Christmas decor and just do like at least a Christmassy runner on the table. At least take these pumpkins down so I can clean them. I know I can't put them in the washing machine, but I got to figure out a way to get them clean. It's supposed to be washable markers, but I just think those are such a joke. They do not wash out. But that's what we do. Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And they turned into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. Now it's the next day because I was not joking about it being three days. I definitely could have gotten all this done in one day, but I just decided to spread it all out. I wanted to get to my kids' bathrooms. I especially like to do this when they're at school because I just feel like they can stay clean longer and I knew they were having some friends over. so. I like their bathrooms to be pretty tidy, especially when friends come over. And it is just crazy the difference in a boy's bathroom and a girl's bathroom. So this is my girl's bathroom. They kind of have like arts and crafts stuff everywhere and ponytail holders, but you know, their toilet's not that bad. And then for the boys, it's just like a few random toys on the floor and their toilet is not fun. So I was watching my girl, Emily Jackson, always getting stuff done. Actually, I typically watch her cleaning channel and her vlogging channel, but they have just gotten a little puppy and I was watching the vlog when they brought him home and I just could not even handle it. He is the cutest puppy in the world. Couch. No, I'm not the same. Everything has changed every day. I have had people get so angry with me for my use of Clorox wipes in the sink or maybe an occasional paper towel. I definitely use paper towels when I'm cleaning the toilet or Clorox wipes because toothpaste has always been really, really gross to me. I don't even like when people spit in the sink. It's just, it's just all super gross. So I can't even fathom for me personally, since I'm the one that does a lot of the laundry, using something to clean all of that nastiness, especially a toilet. 
and then washing it in the washing machine knowing that things don't get fully clean in there and then using that same towel or washcloth or whatever you use to wash your face I don't know it just freaks me out but I think it's totally fine if other people do it I will never get the judgment towards people who are wanting to use an occasional paper towel because I just don't think it's a big deal but people come out like crazy. You know, it's funny. So my friends in real life aren't really part of the YouTube community. They don't really watch a whole lot of YouTube videos. And when I'll tell them some of the random comments I get or just like the hateful comments, like I almost say it in a laughing way because I really don't let anything get me down or bother me. My friends are always in shock by the things that I say. They're like, wait, people really take the time out of their day to critique you for that and i'm like oh yes that and a hundred times more it's so crazy and their thing is like well you put yourself out there so i get to say that but it's kind of like but what bad thing happened in your life to where you feel like you have to say that when you could choose to spread positivity you know anyways i don't let it affect me anymore thankfully i feel like i've been doing youtube long enough now to know that there's going to be some nasty people and some nasty comments and i either just fully ignore it or i respond to them in love because i'm just not going to let people like that get me down it doesn't even make sense why i think about you it was only one night only that time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna dive, dive into you and maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire We could blame it on the one I appreciate you guys so much for watching today's video thank you for being patient with me as it took me a few extra days to get this out for y'all I promise you the next video you watch is going to be jam-packed full of motivation it's going to be long too so I cannot wait to share it with y'all just thank you so much for being here each and every week y'all mean the world to me I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend and I will see y'all back here next time bye guys but I'm gonna die.